Hey there, church. Have you ever seen those pictures where a professional athlete is photoshopped to be wearing a different team's jersey? For example, can you imagine someone like Michael Jordan wearing a Lakers jersey? What about Tom Brady wearing a Chiefs jersey? Even just saying that out loud doesn't seem right to me. Imagine you were walking down the street and you just happened to run into Patrick Mahomes, but he was wearing all 49ers gear. If you're a Chiefs fan, you probably aren't gonna be very happy about one of your players representing the wrong team. Matthew 12, 30 says, anyone who isn't with me opposes me and anyone who isn't working with me is actually working against me. The reality is that we have a team to represent. That verse so clearly says that if you are not working for Christ, then you are against him. There is no middle ground. Once you step into a relationship with Christ, you are surrendering your right to wear the world's jersey. Romans 12, 2 says, don't copy the behaviors and the customs of this world. We were made to go and represent Christ in every single place that we go. It is not possible to represent God and sin at the same time. The two are impossible to represent simultaneously. Seeing Mahomes in a 49ers jersey would be the same as seeing one of your Christian mentors getting arrested on the side of the road. It just feels wrong. And here's my challenge to you. We know what team Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey represent, but do people know what team you represent? Do people see you and then see the work that Christ has done in your life? Or do you take off your jersey when you leave your home? Let's choose that today. We are gonna represent the kingdom of God. We are gonna love one another and we're gonna crave righteousness for our own lives. And more importantly, we are going to chase after the heart and will of our perfect Father in heaven. We love you guys and we're praying for you today.